And beloved church of God, if there's going to be revival in this nation, we need people that will blow the seven trumpet everywhere with the right sound. Your sound is not my sound. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask that you move us forward in this matter of our spiritual fathers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Acts 20. Uh, we're going to continue from where we stopped on uh, how, how, as a spiritual father, I should relate with sons in the faith. Acts 20. Acts 20. Acts 20. Acts 20. And after the opera was ceased, okay, so we see uh, from verse 1, Acts 20, uh, you see Paul getting to a point where he was now giving like a valedictory speech uh, to his efficient elders from verse 17. So we're all going to read it together. And from Miletus, he sent to Ephesus and called the elders of the church. And when they were come to him, he said unto them, Ye know from the first day that I came into Asia, after what manner I have been with you at all seasons. Praise God. Now, serving the Lord with all humility of mind and with many tears, on the line, many tears, humility of mind and temptations, which befell me by the line and weight of the Jews. And look at verse 20, look at his account here. And how I kept back nothing that was profitable. See, what, what, how in relationship, I kept back nothing that was profitable. That is, I did not hold back anything that was profitable unto you. But I've showed you and I've taught you publicly and from house to house. Everybody say, taught you publicly <coughs> and from house to house. Taught you publicly. And from house to house. Okay, so he, he did he did public teachings and he did private teachings. You cannot be a spiritual father that only does public teachings. If you do public teachings alone, you cannot speak like Paul. And there are private teachings that you put the person aside and you say, you know, this, you know, so there are some teachings that are public teachings. There are some teachings that are private teachings. Huh? Like if I say, how can you be wearing t shirt to, 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 to a meeting like this? Stop it. That's not a public teaching. That's supposed to be a That's a private teaching. Because if I make that a public teaching, I may have crushed the spirit. That guy, next time he's coming to church, he will not like to sit in front. If there's a seat after the back, he will take it. And then he starts moving away from the father. Because the father cannot discern. There are things to teach publicly. There are things to teach privately. In other words, I can see something wrong about you. And I will not say it until I pull you aside. Some I may not even be able to say by pulling you aside. Some I may need to take you on a trip. Because some things must be said in the midst of some things. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And some things are not even spoken directly. You just paint it, the person catches it himself. Yes. And then he say, ah, I get this. And I say, you get it? Say, ah, because that same thing he's saying he gets there. Eh? If you had said it directly, you may be offended. Yes, sir. So a spiritual father must do public teachings and private teachings. There are teachings on phone, one-to-one. -one. Uh, I mean, there are many people here that have, have, have sat down with one to one. I I don't even I'm trying to see if there's anybody here that I've not sat down with one to one. I I I I doubt. That I've is labor to be a spiritual father. Because house to house is more expensive than public teaching. Alright? 
because you'll be amazed the number of hours spent in teaching in house to house. Sometimes the hours Jesus spent in talking to uh, uh, um, the woman at the well may not be even less than the one he spent at the seaside to the multitudes. Do you understand me? So, <laughs> I preach sermons on phone one hour, one and a half hours, two hours. And sometimes the sermons you preach like that to one person, have you preached like that before and then you feel you wish it was recorded? Yeah. Because there's some rhema that you wish, ah, this is too big for one person. That's how God works. House to house and publicly. So a spiritual father must do that. He said, I kept back nothing that was profitable and showed you and have taught you publicly and from house to house. Testifying both to Jews and to the Greeks, repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus Christ. Teaching repentance, teaching faith. And now behold, I go bound in spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there, save that the Holy Ghost witnessed in every city, saying that bounds and afflictions abide with me. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus, to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. And now behold, I know that ye all among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of God shall see my face no more. Everybody read verse 26, 1, 2, go. Wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. Why? For I have not shown to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over with the lowly ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of God which he has purchased with his own blood. Look at the way an elder, a father, is talking. Haven't done his job. In other words, said, look, I am confident that I've, I am free from your blood. You, you can't say that carelessly. You can't say that without labor. It takes a lot to be able to look at somebody in the eye and say, I am confident under God that I'm free from your blood. And then he gave the, the, the justification. All the scriptures, verses we read, are basically justification for that statement, I am free for your blood. In other words, I didn't just say it. I mean, I, I, this is, I did this, I have done this, I have done that, I have done this, I have done this, I have shown you. If your head is not correct by now, then it is not me. Alright? So, how do you have that kind of responsibility? And you can have it over 5,000 people. Eh? Over, over 10,000 people. Over 5 million people. Levels. Levels. But the truth of the matter is that, look, these things are costly. So, when people are saying, I, am a, I, I, I adopt you as my son, they are adopting blood. What, when you say I adopt you as my son, what are you saying? You are saying that I, I agree to be part of the stakeholders upon, uh, from whom God will ask for your blood. I don't want to say that like a trigger and hickey hickey, I play it gone and say I adopt you, I adopt you, I adopt you, I adopt you. Uh, auto adopter. Uh, I am your father. I'm your, no, no, it's not a. It's not. A, it's not sweet. It's blood. You see, it's, it's, it's my, it's my son. It's my son. It's my son. The far by you have a church of 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 uh, five five hundred thousand people. Does it make you the spiritual father in that light? Because we started this course teaching instructors, eh? instructors, uh, teachers, then we have uh, uh, tutors, mentors, then we, we have, we have the others on the same level, then we have uh, uh, fathers, fathers, all right, fathers. 
and then we have father. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, 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 the general overseer of a church plays in the role of fathers over everybody in that church. But not father. Why? He can't do it. In your community, you can be a father. But you can't be the father of everybody in that community. You can't do it. The job description is not, is not funny. The job description is not funny. The job description for, 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 for father. Fathers means I do general, you know. Pastor Yadebo is a father to me. Eh? But he doesn't know many things about me. Is is a is the positioning over in the body of Christ that is taken. It's a positioning of a father. Whether is we are redeemed or we are not redeemed, is positioning of a father. Is bearing responsibility on a general note in the body of Christ. Are you getting what I'm saying? But everyone in particular has somebody that is bearing responsibility on a personal note. Now that personal note is what I say you can't do for everybody. The, the JD is, is so heavy. The job description is heavy. And look at what he said there. I have showed you publicly from house to house. I have, we have not withheld anything that was profitable to you. I have taught you the whole counsel of God. Do you know what that meant? Then he talked about teaching repentance. Teaching faith towards God. I've taught you. I've taught you. I've taught you means I sat down to teach you. Look at one of the sessions he was having. Where he sat down and, and he continued teaching. Kuma, somebody fell down from window, fell down, and broke his head. He died. They woke up. The person continued till daybreak. Teaching. You, you, don't do, you, don't, you don't do that kind of work. And you, and you are saying, adopt you, adopt you, adopt you. So right now, even at this level, what I've discovered is that when God brings people to me, there are certain people that I have to reconnect to say, you know what? I thank God God brought you to my life. Let me introduce you to Pastor Moran. Are you getting what I'm saying? What I'm saying is that I'm bearing responsibility over that person, but not directly. Because I look at it and I see that I can't do it. Do you get what I'm saying? Sometimes it may be because of distance. Sometimes it may be because of uh, personality. It may, sometimes it may even be because of gender. I, I tie. I tie. And sometimes it may not even be because of gender. Sometimes it may be because of the background. So I look for somebody who has that same similar background. And I feel that oh, you will understand scriptural truths more from the light of this brother than from me because he, he, he understands your, your, your setup. So when he's preaching, he's, he's bringing it into perspective that you can re, re, relate to it. So I said, I tell you to, you understand what I'm saying? So I, I, so, and then I said, how, how far? I said, ah, thank you for that. That brother is really helping. I said, ah, yeah, thank you. So I am a father, but he has taken the position of the father. Bearing primary, what we are talking about is not even the father, 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 father thing. It's the responsibility levels. So it's bearing direct personal responsibility. I'm bearing general responsibility. I bear direct personal responsibility over my children. That one, I can't tie. Why am I saying that? Because people do tithe. And it sounds spiritual to say, Pastor Shegu, please, this is my daughter. I should collect and say, no, 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 no. Now, let me tell you something. 
It sounds spiritual. There is a perspective to it that makes sense. That says, okay, please help me watch my daughter. All right? But don't, don't, don't transfer that. Pra- you know, that's why I was teaching that day and I was squeezing my face to say, biological is biological. Don't transfer that primary response. Say, Whatever becomes of her mm, is in your hand. I said, no. I also have children. They did not send me. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? No. And let me say, the, the reason why I'm saying this is because when we do that, we fool ourselves. Because the truth is, nobody can do that like you should have done it. If you are a very bad person, they can do it better than you. But on a good day, if you are in your normal position, and nobody can bear direct personal responsibility over your children like you would have done it. Ah. So anytime I've seen people come and do that. Some of them say, ah, this is my son. I've just, look, over to you. I say, yes. I hope you know the meaning. That means you are saying that you you absolve yourself of all spiritual responsibility over this child. And should I be happy to to hear you say you absolve yourself and be happy to say, all right, no problem. Thank thank you for the trust. Uh, Thank you for the honor. Which honor? Somebody is packing blood on my head. You are saying, <laughs> I should thank you for the honor. What you are packing on my head is blood, sir. It's blood. What are you, pa- you are packing blood. So that's what we are saying here. That, 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 that What Paul was saying is that I am free from the blood of all men. What is the meaning of I am free? What is the meaning of I am free? Mm-mm-mm. For you to say I am free. Mm-mm. For you to say I am somebody, somebody came out from that quarters and say I am free. What was what that meant is that I was not free. The minute I become a spiritual father to you, from that time, I am not free. I will now need to free myself of your blood. Do you, do you get? I will now need to free myself of your... Somebody said, Pastor, I submit everything. My destiny. <laughs> my destiny. My everything. As, as in, I just, I just, I submit to you. If you say, go and help me wash my car. I'm so honored. He will wash it. If you say, help me clean all my shoes. Ah, what a honor. He will clean it. What is cleaning is cheaper than what is packing on your head. Because as and it, it, now, it now helps you. It now even makes matters worse for you. You bring a bag of meat and bring it and say, man of God, chop meat. Blood. <laughs> Do you now understand what happened? When those guys, when David said, Ah, I wish somebody would just give me water of Rubel or Bethlehem. They say, ah, water. Water. Water is, they risk their lives to go and get water. When they brought it, David said, ah, 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 this is not water. Pour it to God. Ah, ah, I will be wrong. I, it will be too much for me to be drinking this. Now, let me tell you something. What if David drank it? Do you know that it will have been honor to those men? But it will have been serious indignation for him. God will honor those men. But David will have a case to handle. Especially if his own life does not commensurate that sacrifice to his own father. Ah, there are some certain sacrifices that you don't just eat anyhow. And people know how to bring those sacrifices. 
a man of God, a spiritual father, is sometimes a sacrifice manager. You must know which one to pour and you must know which one to eat. Because eating also, you know, the children of the Levi, they did not have choice as far as eating is concerned. There are some things, whether they are happy or not, they must eat. When the sons of Aaron died, Moses said, why didn't you eat? Hey, you know, say, Abba, was I it? Said these things have befallen me. Number one, you must not cry anyhow. So there are some you can't you can't chop. You 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 also chopping is also part is also part of the contract. You must chop. But you must not chop bad chop. Somebody was going, I was living here, somebody was going from work home, just collected the salary or something. And as he got to that junction, he was in a taxi. He was not coming here. As he got to the area by my house, the Holy Ghost says, stop that vehicle, carry that money, go and give myself. <laughs> he said, Neko Shata Librado Stevradesh. He was wishing for the taxi driver to drive fast. The car drove. When we passed this area, I thought, ha, ah, thank God. Uh, he was hearing, go back and drop that money. He did the answer. The car was driving. When the car drove, 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 he was thinking maybe the, there was a magnetic field that I used to be collecting <laughs> around this area. So, <laughs> when, when, if you can drive where the, the team will escape, <laughs> He drove, drove, drove. The thing did not stop. He had to tell the taxi driver to park. He took a vehicle back. He came to this house. He said, I said, I said, I said, look, look, look. I'm not, I don't, it's not about you. I don't. He said, this, this money, this, and he nailed down. He said, God said, I said, what happened? He said, no, don't worry. Just, I mean, this, this, God said, he was, I said, why are you shaking? He said, no, no. Don't. And I said, nailed down. I don't collect also before I ask the person they are giving to say how far. And the Lord spoke, spoke to me. Collect it from him, pray for him, and return it to him. I just wanted to test his heart. I collected it. I prayed. When I finished praying, I said, Sir, the Lord said, He just wanted to test your heart. Take your money. He, he said, Ha! That's how he looked at me and said, Ha. I said, Take your money. God said, I shouldn't collect it. I just wanted to test your heart. He knew that was it. Took that money back. Now, that's on his own side. On my own side, that money is not the money to chop. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It was testing money, exam money. <laughs> He says that money. Eh? He went and job eh? <laughs> that money. He was says that money. It's like Isaac. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. All right. So, where are we? All right. We have not even moved. All right. So, public. So, that, that's the side of it. So, I stopped and then we said, uh, our spiritual father, you invite them. Uh, when Jesus kept saying, follow me, follow me. He said, we take them along to, to be with you, give them exposure. Like sometimes you take them on a trip, um, go out with you, and somebody in this discipleship class, and I'll be doing that from, I, is what I'm teaching, I try to do, all right? Or God helping me so that you can see the practicals, all right? So I could call you and say, can we go together to Ibado, Lagos, and spend the night and stay together and just be right there's somebody i took like that and then uh, i knew god wanted to do something so i needed to rub my spirit on the person so i took the person on a journey like a night we went out together and all that and then i was able to feel the spirit so like a week 
after that somebody asked me to recommend somebody but i was able to do the recommendation because i have rubbed my spirit on this person i've checked him out you know we have slept in the same bed i have you know there are some things about a disciple uh, you cannot correct except you are with the disciple because you will not even see those things uh, are you get what i'm saying sometimes it is that privilege of discipleship actually uh sometimes when the same gender yeah that somebody can help you say ah so this is how your singlet is all right bro <laughs> you remember charisma character courage you know some the, the issues of some issues that are supposed to have been corrected in under parental discipleship that have been omitted in many lives a lot of omissions yeah that will have been carried into marriage can be stopped by close level discipleship close level sometimes you invite the, the person if it's a couple you invite the sister to come and spend some time with you we can't do without doing that we can't labor in this kingdom without doing that spend some time with you and say oh, come and spend have dinner let's eat and say as you're having dinner that you see the way the person is eating meat <laughs> and say ah, bra 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 james i calm down <laughs> ah, ah, it's meat ah, ah, what's going on here we say ah no sir no ah it's like uh, the thing is very sweet sir no 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 you don't eat like that ah, ah, as in see ah Oh, no, ah, it's like Jesus. I mean, so you now start seeing sometimes the well, you know, we not take a person decide which is oh my god, exposure. See, these things we didn't see people to do it to us. Yes, sir. I, I didn't say you, I, and some of us, you know, they will have removed certain things that you should not have grown with us into public stage some things have actually courage you know that one you need to be with the person and then say no you don't you don't talk like that you don't talk like that you find out that i did some corrections like that uh, on some of some people around me yeah say no no you don't talk like that you don't eat like that you know eh? one of us here followed me <laughs> followed me somewhere and and they served us food and he has started eating so i waited i didn't talk then he just pushed the plate to me so i said take your house i'm the one that brought you to where they are giving us food you have washed your hand before you gave me the bowl. Now, that's what I was saying. I didn't now stand there and say, Edda, this thing you are doing is very bad. No. No. I, 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 it's a private teaching. So I washed, I collected, I washed my hand. I took the remaining fish. I took, I packed the food that we ate, we laughed. <laughs> when we go to ourselves, now say, Chairman, <laughs> what were you thinking? So, what has happened? Dude, I will have said, That's the last time I'm going. Mm-mm. That class is not complete. So, I will now say, Okay, bro. We are going out again. Then now we go to a place where they will give us food. Then this time around, I'll be watching. I noticed that that brother, he will even touch poo. I say, when they say, are you going to eat? He say, <laughs> which is it? So I checked that that brother is here and he's listening to what I'm saying. So 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 I I, I checked and I said. I we went to a place recently and they were asking, uh, what are you eating? I said, uh, me, I'm not eating anything. I said, will you eat? Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, 
And I know the person is very hungry. But I was checking, I wanted to see. <laughs> if he said, ah, yeah, we eat. Oh. I said, eh, yeah. no. He will eat, he will eat. But we have to continue that class another time. So it was now me that now went to say, but I think even though this brother said he's not eating, I think, I think I would like him to eat. So I now brought food and I said, bro, it's me. He said, ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you <sir. laughs> ah, but I just to be sure that less, that's not, that's not Matthew 4. That's why Jesus didn't just stand on the poopy teaching 12 disciples. They were going with him. Because there are certain things he could not transfer except they were with him. Yeah. Eating habits. Dressing. If you don't go to somebody's house, you may not see their cupboard. Eh? When I <laughs> Discipleship involves, those are the kind of labors we should do. So when he said, my son, my son, you go and visit him. Check his house. Aya Baratishta. Check his house. As my disciples should get to a level that I must get to your house. De- depending on how, you know, God has granted me grace to labor to that level. I visit, I visit it. Those are the expensive parts of saying, I adopt you. I adopt you. See, I, I just, I'm just trying to disabuse this, you know, this trigger happy. I adopt you. I, okay, I have my son. You have my, mm, mm. Don't, don't be too eager to just be saying, because once you say it, it is registered in heaven vis a vis blood versus you. Whatever happens of that person, heaven will see your name flashing as a stakeholder. Whom we should ask, have you taught her faith? Did you teach her repentance? And you are collecting pineapple? You are collecting bread? You are collecting something? And this girl's life is scattering? And you are saying it's your spiritual daughter, your spiritual daughter, your spiritual daughter. What did you, daughter? What did you do? Such a father takes along, demonstrates what he's teaching before the disciple. And you get what I'm saying? So when you're saying giving, 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 he, the disciple has an opportunity to see the giving. Yeah? Talk and do. Impartation and sending, assignment testing, create opportunities for disciples. Yeah? And say, do this, you two, do that, do that, do this. So opportunities. Can you just, before I share this, can I ask uh, Brother Kenneth to just give us an exhortation of five minutes? All right? All right? Assignment testing. Then he now takes the meeting and he does it for 15 minutes. Then we call him and say, you see, that's the last time you preach in this church. If, if you keep doing like this, they don't do that. Eh? All right? Assignment testing. Create opportunities. And the good spiritual father does recommendations. Yeah, I think that's one of those. Does recommendations. A good spiritual father. He he he, he says, ah. Eh? I remember there was some, there was that, that some, some, some part time back when some people said they wanted uh, somebody to speak to. I said, La, I have one sister. If she speak like this, ah. All of you, you will be thanking me. And I was describing Beulah. The way I described her, even me, I knew that I described more than Beulah. But I needed to speak. I spoke. I said, look, you don't need to invite me. Invite. I, I will help you talk. I even told them that, hey, don't worry, I will help you do the protocol. I will help you talk to her. I made it look like if she was one woman of God that you need to write letter. To her. I said, don't worry, don't, don't. I, I will take that, th- take the pain, eh, and help you get her. Praise God. <laughs> and that time she was in Lagos. I said, I, 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 like, they don't know her. All they knew was me. And I can use that opportunity to give someone a platform. 
That's what a good spiritual father does. All right. So and then after doing that, then I now face her. Say, Bula, how many years do you have? <laughs> Even if you have been fumbling in your life, this one. If you fumble, you are finished. Ah, you can't even fumble. Because I have put myself on the line. So after this one, you can fumble, but not this one. Even if you don't have grace, go and beg God to borrow you. <laughs> I return it after the, this particular session. So, they gave her the invite. Then she came, and then I kept asking how far? I won't ask her. It is the people. Did you see what I told you? Did you see what I told you? How far? How did it happen? When they say, ah, pastor, thank you. I say, ah. <laughs> Praise God. Meanwhile, that particular one is not actually to her credit because as she is speaking there, I'm also praying to defend my name. So she will now have the opportunity to now determine whether she will stand up and continue from there or go back to where she was. When you have those kind of platforms, don't go back to where you were. Make it a benchmark. Rise to that level that somebody put you. Because that's how people rise. Somebody doesn't do it for you. In this, in this, in this, in this, in this, in this, in this dispensation, if somebody doesn't do it for you, you may, you may never get it. Somebody must do it for you. Somebody must do it. Somebody must trust you and put you on the stage. And somebody must speak for you. That's why you cannot be fatherless. Somebody must speak for you, sir. Whether even marriage now in these days or, or, or ministry. Either marriage or ministry. Somebody must be put, somebody that is known must be known for you. Because we don't know you. But we must know somebody that knows you. You understand? We don't know you, but we must know, but we don't know you. We don't know anybody that knows you. Ah, no, 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 no. It's, 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 it's these days. Ah, no, the, 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 the risk is, is too high. It's too high. So, but somebody must, when you have, the privilege of having a stage. Make sure you vow to God that you will allow him to use that stage for several other people. I vowed. I told God, anything you give me, I will let your children have access to it. When I'm going to a place and a, a child of God says, can I have a picture with you? I say, ah, what, what am I using my face for? It does it make you happy? They say, ah, I'll be so honored. Ah. Oh yeah, how do you want it? Like this, like that, like that, no problem. Once I'm doing that and I see that you are happy, to me, it doesn't uh, do anything to me. But it makes you happy. Ah. If God gives me clout, ah, I told God I will use it. I will use it for your church. It can make one young boy smile from morning to night just because he was able to shake my hand. Me that I don't see myself as anything before. But you, to you, you see it as something. Nah, that's fine. Then let's use it. Let's use it. Let's make somebody glad. Make someone happy. All right? Use the cloud. Use the stage. Allow others to rise through you. Let your shoulder be climbing parts. Let people be able to rise. Say they stepped on you and they rose. That's how a good spiritual father. Don't be the last man that rose. When you climb the staircase, make sure you are not the last person that climbed it. Let others climb it through you. Let others climb it through you. Recommend. A spiritual father must be able to recommend. Recommend not just for preaching. Recommend for good things. You can give this boy that contract. I assure you he will not cheat you. He said, you mean it? I assure you. And when you are finished speaking to the, country, to the client, then you will now drag the boy. Into one cold room <laughs> and send it down there. <laughs> you want to die? 
if you cheat this man, you have, I will kill you myself. He said, I don't understand. You, you agree? He said, I said, all right. That one is private. <laughs> But you must be able to do it. That's, a, that's the currency we spend. Do you know, as, as, as I am now, I've left the working, working place, but then people call me to say, can you give me somebody that, that can manage our funds? That's why, and, and I, I will not recommend this. If a disciple must have tested before you can recommend. And for you to test, you must have been close. Jesus' discipleship involved proximity. It involved proximity. People are discipling girls. They have not been to their house. They don't check their work. In those days, as a student, as a student, when I go and visit a, a convert, this guy will be walking in the room. <sighs> this your room is fine, no? This is your convert. Ah. Ah. What's these trousers are doing here? It's like a man's trouser. Is your junior brother staying with you? As I say, as, as in your junior brother, is he staying here? Or your cousin? <laughs> it's how it starts. It's how it's how it's how you say, you say, uh, you say, uh, actually, I just say, what happened? Can I see your album? You say, ah. Uh, you say, hey, album. Who, who is this one? That's discipleship. That's how to visit people. When you don't do that, huh? This boy, huh? Your cousin? No. Uh-uh. How many cousins do you have? <laughs> then you start asking questions. Who is this one? What's his name? What about that one? Then you check your the person status regularly and ask questions. That hand I held you. Did you see where the hand went? How did you not feel it? And if you block me from your status, I will know because I will, I will ask you. So, you how do you think there's hardly there's anybody's status here that I don't check? There's hardly, there's hardly. That was why I asked you about your house. Because I saw the pictures you are taking there. Notice everything. You see, one of my sons brought his fiancé to his house over the night to sleep. And as God we have it, they took a picture beside the wall clock. I just said, Sir, this picture... <laughs> Where were you? Said she came visiting. I said, eh. Like, is it in the morning? I said, no, no, she, uh, she took that picture around in the evening. I said, 9 p.m. near. I said, uh, 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 nine p I said, look at the clock. <laughs> <laughs> the guy just went. He was, he was, he, he couldn't believe himself. He, he didn't notice the clock. Yeah. <laughs> one of my one of my the converts was God does wonderful things. She, she was delivered from prostitution, alcohol, everything. But I think she was sleeping back. So she 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 sent a SMS. Please let me buy Sabrina at the junction. Present it to me. <laughs> Sab, you don't, you, mean, you never know Sabrina. <laughs> Sabrina is that sachet alcohol. She wanted to send it to one she who was at the junction. She now sent it to me or something. I should help him buy Sabrina at the junction. I saw I sent how many, how many sachet? I asked her, I asked her how many sachet should I buy? She was, uh, I think she was about to decide, but I said, ah, just buy two. She now. <laughs> I'm telling you, discipleship. <laughs> so, 
so the the, the who, 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 where did he, that, that my fiance is around where is he sleep where are you going to sleep these are little things that we did not do that made our discipleship process to be weak all right we don't ask questions a disciple asks asks questions he asks questions because i have to finish this course today i want to really finish love them Conduct yourself properly. We're reading First Thessalonians chapter 2 from verse 4. But as we were allowed of God to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak not as pleasing men, but God, we tried our hearts. For neither at any time used we flattering words, as you know, nor a cloak of covetousness. You know what they call a cloak of covetousness? God is witness. First Thessalonians chapter 2 from verse 4. Nor, for, nor of men sought we glory, neither of you nor yet of others, when we might have been burdensome as the apostles of Christ. The word burdensome, I taught it when we were teaching and handling the word of God or ministering the word of God effectively. Aha, we were not burdensome. Alright? So I don't come to go and visit Ada and I bring seven disciples of Jesus to come and visit for lunch in these times. And I, I make Ada start asking me, Pastor, is it a sin for you to visit us? No, 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 no. Don't be burdensome. Don't be burdensome. Don't be burdensome. Ah, when I visit you, eh? <laughs> I want croaker fish. I want uh, uh, th- th- uh, th- th- for, and titles and something, something, something. Just serve the man of God first. Kuma, they can't serve you with everything first and nothing can happen like Elijah. <laughs> we will come to your house. Uh, so, don't be burdensome. Don't be burdensome. Let people know it about you that you are not burdensome. Alright? As the apostles of Christ. You know, burdensome. Burdensome. <laughs> that word there. Eh? Eh? Let disciples not think many times before they visit you because they know they will wash floor, they will wash plates, they will wash house, they will clean everywhere and say, ah, I want to visit my spiritual father, but uh, <laughs> I don't have this <laughs> I don't have this dress. <laughs> I must have it here, but anyway. <laughs> oh my God. Are we talking practical things here? Yeah? Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, ah, look, look. Some people have, 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 have detested kingdom because of the way we have used men. So when disciples come around us, do they help us to do things in the house when they want to, they can help us? Definitely, yes. But they must be seen to be helping. Helping means we are doing it. Not like you are taking choco middle in the room and then they are scrubbing the floor, they are doing this, they are doing someone say, Pastor, leave it. Say, no, 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 no. Because you are not a slave. We are must be doing it together. We are brothers. If you need a lot of housework to do, go and hire laborers. Not God's sheep. Don't offer to help a child of God with accommodation, with the intention to make a house care in the house. You will be shocked because you will make that person hate Jesus and the person will not serve you. Then you will feel I helped you, you are not helping me. And you didn't do a favor, you did a scam. If you need ourself, get ourself. Not God's sheep. Don't do scam. Those who have done it have been disappointed. Because the sheep may not even do the job well. Because she didn't come for that. She even came to be loved. I said, praise God, Pastor Mori is having me in her house. Ah, somebody to take care of me. I said, eh? The deal was that you will come and take care of me. I said, no, 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 no. You may be disappointed. Especially these days. 
uh, 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 surely these days, you'll be disappointed. It's better you manage your, your issues by yourself than to bring the sheep with the intention of making an house girl out of her. They say, no, let's, 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 let's accommodate her, that's her. At least, ah, uh, this, so all these plates in the kitchen in the night. Ah, this, I, I, I thank God. I, when I that, I say, ah, um, I don't even think that I will need that accommodation. Ah, you will need it, oh. <laughs> Ah, you ah, what do you mean? You ah, you will need it. Ah, you don't need what? Ah, you will need it. <laughs> you will need it. Ah, God has provided it for you. Ah, mm. praise God. Why is this class looking like this today? <laughs> All right. Now a cloak of covetousness. Like God is witness. First Tim Thessalonians two six. Now a cloak of covetousness. Verse five. Shows the fact that don't tax God's sheep. Yes, don't ask them for money. Don't look into their things. Now it's easier to talk about this when you are not when you are looking at the faces of people that are still hustling yeah. and struggling. Eh? Oh no, they will not be struggling and hustling forever. Yeah. All right, when they now hammer. Yeah, higher yeah. lasso tever lash. Don't use a cloak. Because you will get things from it. Yeah? But it will make you to lose things from God. I was in a very big financial need. My, my children was, were about thrown out of school. And one of my daughters that's like a special assistant to the governor came around. I was tempted. All I just needed to do, ask it, or just you know, there's 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 as there's stylish. Please join me to believe God. We are. You see, they didn't say covetousness. There's covetousness. There's cloak. There's 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 this one that there's this one that. Lord, I pray that you will send something to this my account number on WhatsApp status. Eh? It's, 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 not, it's not covetous. It's a cloak of covetousness. That means covetousness, the clothes that you use to clothe covetousness. Ah, banner. Anytime I see people do bad, they have put account number on WhatsApp. I tell them, put it down. They're a beggar. I've done it to a man of God. I thank God he listened. I said, at your level, you put phone account number on what you want people, people. Let me tell you something. People will send millions into that account number, but you breach a spiritual trust. It's called trust. You don't know that there are some people God cannot trust. Because God will say, if I give him this level of 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 of, of a cloud influence, he will use it for himself. Don't damage trust. People do that and they get the money, but that's the last they get. I don't want you to give me the last I'll get. I'll say, I, won't, I won't let you give me the last I'll get. Uh, because I will get it. The deception is that it will work. Yeah. That's the deception. Yes. It will work. If I put this account number on my status now, I will, re- I will make 200000 Just imagine you check WhatsApp and you saw Shegun Koka. I am in dire need of 500000 now. As I am standing here today, I don't think that's that that message will last three hours before that money is passed. Ah, I will have to be begging people that is because some people can even capture it, screenshot it, and send it <laughs> to say, "Men and brethren, our father <laughs> is begging." <laughs> oh, forbid you. God forbid, somebody can take down his account, business account, and say, rather than for my father to be in it, take this money, and I will take it and chop it. We don't know what we are chopping. But blood is demanded. I said, don't, don't do it. 
that person. And the Lord spoke to me. What will you do to entertain this guest? So I now, in, in tears, I asked the person, what would you like to eat? The person said, shawarma. I said, shawarma. <laughs> and I took the, the list, 5,000 that was in my account. I said, go and buy shawarma for this person. You see, the, the man of God that was my assistant, he was learning things that Samos cannot teach. The guy who knows the way it is. When I say, let's buy shawarma. I was just hearing the guy say, hmm. <laughs> hmm. He was saying, hmm. Hmm. Because he knows the person that is visiting. And I did not mention it once. Prayed, blessed, said, God prosper you. Remember righteousness. And she left without giving me a seed. She just brought, she brought a uh, thing, maybe rice, uh, some, some biscuits, and all these things that are not the answer to the things on ground. Do, those things are not answering to school fees. And I said bye bye. And I said, God, I said, uh, they will not become my source. It's a vow. It's a vow, sir. They may be poor today, but when they are becoming rich, God is checking whether they will now become your source. Now, when you want to buy equipment for the church, you don't pray again. Say, ah, the Honorable Commissioner uh, Media, Eddie, Honorable Commissioner. Uh, yes. Uh, about the Honorable Commissioner is going to, uh, I, I know you are capable. <laughs> Everybody celebrate the Honorable Commissioner. Uh, okay. And these people start losing respect for the correction that comes from the pulpit. Mm. Honorable Commissioner, sit down. Does anybody get that? Huh? I have never asked you for a dime. Make sure you are able to say it. Because people will rub it on your face when you are teaching righteousness. Make sure you are always able to say it. I have never asked you for a dime. I have never. Never asked you for a dime. Never asked you for a dime. Never. Never. I was driving last week with one of the guys I took on, on, on mentorship. And, I, and then the investor said, Pastor, I, have you reached out to the pastor of that church? I said, yes. I wanted to reach out to him some time back, but I just felt. I said, ah, Pastor, reach out to that person. I said, why? He said, ah. I said, Pastor, this person will always call me because he has pastored me before. When he said, drop something. Drop something. Somebody fought one of our daughters because she, 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 they asked her to sow a seed and she did not sow. I said, aren't you collecting salary? Just ask you to sow ordinary 10,000. You cannot sow 10,000. Uh, despite all the fathering we are, we are pastoring, we are pastored you. Some people are pastored you 20 years ago. They are still expecting uh, task, task, but now why? Why? Cloak of covetousness. They are not the ones that called you, sir. They will never be, even if they have become the president, they will never be your caller. Your caller caters for you, sir. Your caller. Your caller. Your caller remains your caller. They will never be your color. Yes, no matter who you be. Yes, no matter how much you have. And sometimes the way to burst that appetite is when they are becoming rich and wealthy buy things for them. It helps your sanity as a man of God. You know, rich people don't get gifts. Buy things for them. You are the pastor of a billionaire and you, you are going to his bad day. Ah, you will pack people who are hungry. I said, I, I, please, is anybody hungry here? It's time to go and let's enjoy. No. Even you now buy, buy 
What, what, what can you buy? Socks. Everybody uses socks. Eh? Pen. Pen may even be expensive. Everybody uses socks. Talking about 2,000 naira. Buy socks. There's one millionaire in my church. I like him. I just made up my mind. I'm going to give some of these guys some. I'm going to give you. Because every, every time he does parties, everybody just goes to, you know, to go, ah, <laughs> it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Huh? I, I, I didn't want to, I didn't have much. And I, I didn't even, I just got myself, and I was saying goodbye. I, I forgot, I just put 2,000 there in, 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 in an envelope. And I said, I want happy birthday. And then, I didn't even see envelope that day, because it was, but I just said, I want your birthday. And I'm trying to pack it, pack it. I did not, I will not go to wait. Take, this is for your birthday. And he took that 2,000. And said, Pastor, thank you. You see, because it was not the money. It was the fact that somebody looks at him as a person, as a human being. Not a bank. <laughs> you hate to be treated like a bank because God blessed you. When people see another and say, ah, oh, praise God. My, all my problems are finished. And I say, ah, as an, as in, I'm, no more, I'm no more your sister. I'm no more your brother. I'm now a, a, a ATM machine. I'm now GT. Praise God. For we were gentle among you, verse 7. As a nurse, cherish that our children be gentle. Everybody say, be gentle. So being affectionately desirous of you, we were willing to have imparted not only the gospel of God only, but also our own souls because you were there unto us. For you remember, brethren, our labor and travail for laboring night and day because we will not be chargeable. Chargeable. We will never say chargeable. We will not be chargeable unto any of you. We preached unto you the gospel of God. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 9. We will not be chargeable. So Paul was still doing some level of business. Because he would not want to put his bills on the people. Sister Johnny, please help me to buy um uh, buy a uh, uh, buy um uh, sh- sh- uh, suya uh, bread. Thank you, bread. You got it. Bread in a paraclet. One two loaves. All right. And then, by virtue of that, naturally, I just assumed that she should not collect money from me. If I don't mention it, will she ask? Eh? No. She will take it as a burden. And say, ah, and she may even say, ah, Pastor, don't worry. Pastor, don't worry. Pastor, don't worry. And say, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then she's going to say, ah. Oh, and I have plans for this one. You know. And then she buys the bread and says, <laughs> This is nothing, ah, uh, ah, uh, out of a uh, small thing. You know what I do? Because I'm teaching. I say, It's a small thing. I know. You will give me money. This one is my bread. When I will pay for this one. If you want to give me money, then give me money. You know what I do sometimes? And I say, I say, Pastor, don't worry. And I transfer the money to the person I can. She doesn't return it. <laughs> she doesn't return it. But if I didn't do that, she would say, oh, No, no, no. It's from my heart. It's from my heart. I transfer the money. The next thing I see is thank you. <laughs> thank you for being a correct father. Yeah. Thank you. I return one five. I pay back two five. No one still bought bread for me. She'll be here now. He bought bread, two six. I return two thousand six hundred. I may even have bank bank charges. To be responsible and respected. You know what happens? Those guys, they may not tell you, but outside, when people are talking about their own pastors, they will say, ah, thank God, oh, my own pastor is not like that, oh. Let me tell you, another thing is that they can pluck their eyes for you. 
when you pick up the phone and say, I'm trying to transact five, 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 five million to somebody's account and my, my phone is hanging, can you help me do it? They can say, yes, truly. They don't think. They won't think. If, it's, if, 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 if we're not like that, they will say, Pastor, baby, can you, can you go to another network area? <laughs> can you check? <laughs> and I share that with you. Can you see? Can you see people? Why will you make your ministry to become that, that bad? I say, Pastor, uh, 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 is this something that, can I put on Wi Fi? Pastor, oh, you say, Pastor, yeah, that's our network. You just keep trying. Pastor, don't worry, relax, try. Try is everywhere. Even here, self, that's how the network is. It's more, uh, <laughs> Why would we become like that? I'm telling you, it has benefits. It has benefits. I've been in situations where I, 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 I mean, I couldn't move money. And I said, excuse me, please put this one. I mean, I carry, oh my God, you don't understand these stylish cloaks of being chargeable. Pastor John, I'm going to preach in Lagos and I want you to carry me. You are carrying me with your car. And then we go. I should think about the foil. 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 Listen, if you sow it, you will reap it. If you sow it, you will reap it. I should think about the foil. I should think about the foil. I say, yeah. Not be chargeable. They will not tell you. But after some time, you will not you will be shocked how the news will come round. That when they are saying pastors, those people when they get a contract of five billion, there are pastors they can tell, there are pastors they cannot tell. They say, ah, 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 it's the blessing like say, ah, let's just thank God. God is faithful. Say, so how much is it? It's just something. Pastor, look. As I am now, I can't even talk. <laughs> let's, just, let's just bless God. And then I have the others that will give me the contract papers. Say, Pastor, there's no need asking. Read it. When I receive such things, I shake. I'm like, why are you telling me? I'm talking, I'm not talking small money. I'm saying like, you can't try that anyhow. Because you, next Sunday, <laughs> eh? Next Sunday, the next, the next, the next, the next bad day of the man of God, Pastor will send a special notice to you. And then he said, ah, you see, pastor will not know that behind the scene, you are telling someone and say, ah, it's because pastor knows what I'm earning. So if I buy something small for him, he will comply it with my salary. Why are we like that? We have raised a bunch of church members who are also now anti-smart. You know, when you have four one nine people, then you <laughs> then you have four twelve <laughs> four twelve members. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why God is doing this, but please can we can we promise God that we will not go against these teachings? Please can we can we can we can we promise God we will not go against this disease? People have become afraid of commitment to spiritual authority. And I tell you, it has benefits. Trust is one of the benefits. Your, your daughters and sons will tell you anything. Somebody say, Why you don't tell? You don't tell your pastor. I say, No, not my own. Not my own. Not my own. It doesn't stress you. Not my own. Even if he doesn't, his bills are not on you. We're gentle among you. Verse where are we now? Verse 9, verse 10, verse 9. 
Verse 10, you are witnesses and God also. What is the meaning of that? In other words, you have testimonies to, to testify that what we are saying is true. And God also, how holily. That's the only place in the Bible where you see the word holily. You must walk holily. Everybody say holily. 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 How holily. How holily. Unblameably. And justly we behaved ourselves among you that believe. May the Lord help us with holily in Jesus' name. Amen. As you know how we exalted and comforted and charged everyone. So we did three things. Number one, exalted. Number two, comforted. Number three, charged. You must exhort, you must comfort, you must charge. Charge. I charge you before God. You must exhort, encourage, and you must comfort. All right? Praise God. Look at these people. Look at what they walked before they could say, I am free from your blood. Did you see what has gone inside? Uh -huh. As you know, and how we exhorted and comforted and charged every one of you as fathers, that you will walk worthy of God who had called you into the kingdom of glory. Praise God. Privileges of being under a spiritual father. Spiritual covering, discipler, mentor, spiritual father, privileges. What are the privileges? Number one, visual aids for spiritual growth and discipleship. First Corinthians 11 verse 1, Be ye followers of me, even as I am also am of Christ. First John chapter 1 verse 1, That which was from the beginning, the which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life, for the life was manifested, and we have seen it, bear witness and show unto you the eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. First John 1, 3, that which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. Verse 4, and these things, what things? What things? What things? What things? The things we have heard, we have seen, we have looked upon the Bible. We have looked upon our hands have handled. So that means we, we, we didn't just hear it. So there's a discipleship level system that stops at heard. My guy, we have heard many things we have not seen. Hmm? We have heard too many things we have not seen. But this guy said, that which we have heard, we have seen, we have looked upon. Looked upon is even from seen. Seen is, I just saw it. Looked upon is, I, I, I examined it very carefully. And then it got to a point where our hands have actually handled it. Uh, so we know what you are saying. These things we now write. Somebody showed us what we read. How would they hear if there is no preacher? Do you remember that scripture? Now, how would they see if nobody displayed it? There are many things difficult to understand in the scriptures because we have not seen it. Are you going to know what? Both the miraculous and the life of Christ. How he responds to hunger. How he responds. I, I read in my Bible this morning two different times that they slapped Jesus. Two slap. <laughs> two different times. They slapped the Son of God. They slapped God. They as in with human hand. John is shocking with the pan. You, you, you talk to the even if I mistakenly slap you now, you control yourself. But, but 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 they slapped the son of God said you talk to the high priest like that I can imagine you just say me high priest you <laughs> most high high priest as in you you slap most high before high priest ah high priest have, have died <laughs> slapped him two different times that's what I call that which I've heard because he said, if they slap you on one cheek, turn the other. It was time for Peter to see. <laughs> that was theory. It's now physics practical. Slapped him the first time. You know, the thing so entered Jesus, eh? 
at least at least one of the slap I know he paint you. How do I know? He said, ah, why did you slap me? <laughs> <laughs> did you have you read your Bible? He said, ah, what did I say? Why ah, why why? Ah, he slapped me like this. <laughs> Jesus said, why? Why? Why is my test on me? Ah, I know that one painting. But he didn't slap back. He didn't vex. He didn't fight. It's easier to teach. But people need to be to see what we taught. And the opportunities to show them what we taught plays out on the most unsuspecting moments. And when we act differently from what we said, people use what we did to overwrite what we said. In other words, what you did will overwrite what you said. People will count what you did more doctrine than what you said. Is anybody blessed? Visual aids. People are struggling to understand the life of Christ. How possible it is. Some people have even declared it's not possible. How can you be in this country? How can you get a visa in this country and, and you will not lie? Mm-hmm. Make up your mind. We'll be visual aids. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Visual aids. And God has a way of beautifying visual aids. Yes, because sir. no man lighted a candle and keeps it somewhere. He deliberately arranges a, a very good visible place. That's how God will arrange your life. Hey. Because it will make it so beautiful that that, that beautiful will now try to say, ah, ah, how is your whole life? Say, come and see the principles. Actually, what God is projecting is not you. What he's projecting is the principles. But he has to make you beautiful so that those who didn't take those principles can see the aftermath of the principles they did not take. One day God said, I don't need to give you a brand new car, but I will give you to showcase some things. A, a very clean Tokubo is okay for you. But I will make it Tialano so that people will now say, ah, ah, this, how, how, is the how that I want them to come out. So I'm showcasing principles while you are enjoying. God will bless you to showcase principles. Make people come and ask and find out how is it that you got it so quickly. Say, because the Lord my God brought it to me. Visual aids. Privileges of being under a spiritual covenant, blessed with them. And the scripture Galatians 3, 8 and 9. And the scripture foreseen that God would justify the hidden through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all the nations be blessed. In other words, so then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Galatians 3, 8 and 9. So there is, I am blessed, there is, I am blessed with in other words, I connect to the blessing. Ah, what does it take to be blessed with the blessing of uh, this man that they put the ark in his house? Obededo. It just takes you to be in his household. Nothing else. Blessing is running there. You just need to bring your head and chook it. Thank you. You just need to, ch- once you chook your head, what happens to you also in the house? You are, is it your blessing? No. You are blessed with the blessing of a bededo. Oh my God. Blessing that you don't know how it came. Blessing that you didn't, you didn't do all the dry fasting. You didn't do all the sacrifice. You didn't do all the covenant. You didn't do all, do all the maintenance. Just by chooking head. Hey, uh, you connect. Hey, uh, kata. Do you see what I'm saying? Privileges of being under spiritual covering is so massive. That why and you know the you know the beautiful thing is that as you are also laboring in the spirit, yeah, 
you are curing blessings from God and covenants with God. Yeah, but you chuck your head inside somebody's labors. Say others have labored and you have entered into their labors. Whereas you are also laboring. But you know, you have entered into somebody else's labors, making you are tapping double double package. Somebody else is going to now chuck his own head into your own labors. And and so uh, tell me. As he's growing larger, what is happening to the last man on the link? The guy is just chopping everything. He's choking head by just choking head under proper spiritual covering. You have access to things you don't know anything about. Because all it takes you to benefit from leprosy is to be born in the family of Gaius. Once you are Geazite, you are blessed with <laughs> you are blessed with Geazi. You are blessed with. I didn't want to say the other word. But you know what I wanted to I was supposed to say? Because you are blessed with and you are cursed with. Depending on where you took your head. Do you understand what I'm saying? Those who lined up under Abiram were cursed with Abiram. They were cursed with Abraham. Those who lined up under Abraham, they were cursed with him. People that God has cursed, you line up with them, you are cursed with them. You line up behind Judas, you are cursed with him. You line up behind anybody that said, oh, that you have given me, I have lost now, except the son of partition, that the scriptures may be fulfilled. And it were better for him not to have been born. You line up behind some people, you carry the, 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 the wala that does not concern you. He said, he said, he said look, he said, all is there, depart from their tents. And you stood with them. When the ground opens, you go down with them. All he just needed to do was to have been, have been attached to Achan as a son. And being in the same house that he took the Babylonian garments to, you perished with him. Watch who you took your head. And once you are sensing trouble, <laughs> there is space, there is space, there is space for retooking. The only thing is that it is coordinated by God. It's not you. Because we said it is God that appoints, it is God that assigns. Are you getting what I'm saying? Ah. Sometimes people choked head into immorality. And they were blessed with. That's why you should be blessed. You should not make anybody that chooks head under you at a, a disadvantage because it was you. That they brought their head under. Don't don't be a tank that dispenses causes. Make sure that those who submit to you are blessed with you. You know there are certain things are credited to their account that is not from their registration. They get alerts that are from by virtue dividend of being connected to the covenant of Ia the way. Why, why did I say that? Because there's a way the blessing works. He did not even just say, it works in double fold. He said, in you and in your seed. Yes, so, he, what he's talking about there is in you and in your seed. So, it affects the seed. Why did the angels stop at Abraham's bus stop to talk to them about Sodom and Gomorrah? Because somebody that connects to Abraham is inside Sodom. If not, Sodom does not need discussion. Yes, sir. It doesn't need any negotiation. But they were blessed. Lot is blessed. Lot is not blessed though. If you look very well from the beginning. They didn't call Lot. He just took it. 
when he took it to Abraham, all his cattle, they were multiplying. With what? Whose bless? The blessing of Abraham. That's how actually to live. That's how actually to live. There must be some advantage you gain. That's why I say a good father lives in inheritance for his children. So there must be some advantage. You can't labor for everything. Ah, it's too much. It's too much, oh. It's too much. Even with you took yourself, you, <laughs> you, you still labor. You, you can't labor for everything. But there must be some advantage. Some advantage or some blessings that come into your life that you know that this thing is, is not necessary for me. You associate with some certain people and certain realities change in your life because their dividends extend to you. Their portals just open to you. That's why sometimes sometimes somebody say, let me spread my skirts over you. And then you discover that things just change over your life. Let me spread my skirts over you. And sometimes when you move out of some association and some certain privileges just die. Amen. Blessed with them. Privileges of being a God's spiritual covering. Impartation. Impartation. Romans 1 11. For I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. Mark 2 10 1. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. Impartation. A spiritual father imparts in the name of Jesus. Let, let let the grace that I carry flow in your life. And you didn't know the contracts. You get what I'm talking about here? Yeah? You didn't know the contracts that I had with God that better that those realities. You were not there when I sat down severally before the Lord. Are you getting what I'm talking about? You were not there when I sat down severally before the Lord. You were not there. Probably it was a three days fasting or 20 days or 40 days. You know what I'm saying? You were not there. You were not there. But by choking, by choking, it flows by impartation. It flows into you. Somebody else should also get that advantage from your own life. Don't be the last person blessed. Intercession. Hey, my God. Philemon chapter 1 verse 4. I thank my God, making mention of thee always. The word is always in my prayers. Now, you see why spiritual fathering is not something to just... Did you see the word always? Was it a joke? What's the meaning of Always. Eh? Greek, Hebrew, what's the meaning of always means? Always. I make mention of thee. Always. Isn't it a privilege for somebody to do that for you? What about you do that for someone? Now, look at this thing we are calling spiritual father. He said, I'm your father. It's not just I'm a father bring jollof rice. It's, I mean, it's not, it's not about, it, it's, I make mention of you always. You know, there's a place in the scriptures and it says, it says uh, God, God, uh, God forbid that I, 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 I refuse to, I cease to, how did you put it now? He said, he said, God, God, God forbid that I, that I cease to pray for you. You make mention of you always in my prayers. Always in my prayers. And then you now look at that person and I say, look, please, please I, don't, I, I don't want to have anything to do with you again. You say, ah, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Bishop Benson that was sent an envoy to Bishop Duncan Williams in Ghana and told him to report in Benin City for a, for a, for a meeting. Yes. First Samuel twelve twenty-three. What does it say? Moreover, as for me, God forbid that I should sin against God 
in season to pray for you. No, no, listen. That will teach you the good and the right way. Listen, God forbid that I sin against God in pausing, pausing, pressing pause in praying for you. That means praying for you is, 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 it should be on play or it should be on auto run. God forbid that I should pause. No, that's not even it. God forbid that I should sin. That is to pause to pray for you is a sin. Why would I carry blood? That, that, I mean, why, why? Why? Is it anything special to be? A, you, know, when you, I, 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 you, you know, so when you now buy bread for me and buy geisha compared to the <laughs> other side now the other side is that you it is now terrible if you are just eating the bread and eating the geisha I, I, you are not doing the prayer now just imagine all these things are working like this as it is and everybody being covered and everybody recovering is doing this what do you think we, we, the formation will be like? Well, how do you think the enemy will want to attack this kind of structure? Somebody is not pausing to pray for you. You two are not pausing to pray for somebody. The person you are praying for too is not pausing to pray for somebody. Ah. So when you now say, I, I, even when I want to pray, I don't really know what to pray about. Something is wrong with you. You, with this thing we are teaching now, can you <laughs> can you lack something to pray? If you say, I say, for instance, they say we should pray for four hours. But I don't know what, what I pray. The reason why you don't know what to pray about is because you are thinking about yourself. If you are not thinking about yourself, just take the map of Africa. Eh? Do, <laughs> even if you use one statement per country, <laughs> I, I doubt if you, you know you start ministry one hour before you finish praying for Africa. Eh? One statement, Lord, remember Nigeria in Jesus' name. Lord, remember Angola in Jesus' name. Lord, remember... Talk less of now, go to the states of each country. <laughs> and local government. Can you pray for six hours? <laughs> you will pray to a point and say, Lord, answer Africa. <laughs> I cannot go and die. No! Uh, Lord, this is the map. <laughs> Pray for all of them. Ah, uh, uh, God. You know the Yes. You say, God forbid that I sin. See a man on a watch. So as you are in the taxi, as you are driving, as you are playing, as you are in the office, as you are in the restroom, as you are in the kitchen, as you are sleeping, as you wake up, as you are in the bathroom, what are, is, there, is, there, is there a break? Now, it is a blessing to have such a father. He doesn't need to be on TV. Yes, sir. He doesn't need to be on social media. Yes, sir. He doesn't need to be. Is there anything that uh, out of the qualities that recommend that he must be popular? No. Eh? Rather get someone who can do this for you, who is unknown, than get a popular person who doesn't have your time. Yes. Everybody wants to be the spiritual son of the great man of God. It's work we are talking about here. It's blood we are talking about. Someone that can be that proximity to you. It may be a brother in the fellowship that, that can do that job. And let me say this in rounding up, because when we talk about blessed with and cursed with, don't go and use your head to collect curses that will affect your downline. How did they curse in the Bible? Who went to go and re see the nakedness of Noah? Who went to go and see the nakedness of Noah? Kenan? Eh, uh, you know, it's a ham. Ham. His harm, when they were placing the cross, they placed it on his son. It is David that offended. 
It is his children. It is the land that suffered. Don't don't go and bring something home that will cause stones to land on the head of all your family. People are suffering things in the body of Christ now that came from downline. He said, wipe out Amalek. Once you are born there, you you were born into a, a deleted zone. Wipe out Amalek. Because they did something. Don't go and bring fire. You know, when they, like like petrol tanker that catch fire and now spread the down line. Don't 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 be that person in front. It's for your children. Intervention, interception, intercession. Intervention, intercession, inter interception. Intercession. Let Reuben live and not die. Jacob said, Cost be Reuben. Moses said, Let Reuben live. Ah, if, you're, if the head you had before is not correct, you can find another head. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know him, but just find head. Because the only thing that could correct that thing for Reuben was head. He had to come under another head. Moses had to speak over him and say, no, no, let, let Reuben live. They have said, cause be reason, let Reuben live. Disconnected that cause. Intercession. Interception. And Genesis 18, 23, 24, and Abraham drew near and said, what well, will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Paradventure there be 50 righteous. Within the, will thou also destroy and spare the place for 50? From 50, he went to, supposing that 50 lacked 10. You see, you see bargain, interception. Abraham was standing between destruction of Sodom and the destruction of, of, of Lot. Abraham stood there. He was the one blocking God from going. Interception. Ah! May you find men. Look at Moses. Interception. Exodus 32, verse 31. Yet 31 and 32. Let me read 32. 30, Exodus 32, 32. Yet now, if thou will forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book, with thou hast risen. And the Lord said unto Moses, Mm-mm. Whosoever has sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. You know what they were saying? Is that if, if you will not, if you will not, forgive these people then kill me two questions who can say that for you who can you say that for you pray to some level and some people say god well if you want to kill him i've tried my best i can't put my life on the line I cannot come and die moses said if you will not save them then remove my name from the book of life You have one choice. It's either you leave my name there and spare them and leave all of us together or you remove my name and do whatever you want to do. God said, I cannot remove your name. Moses said, no, he cannot remove his name. But, but you get clouds before God, before you can say that. Or that you say, you say, you say, your name is already removed. <laughs> Even your name is on the SF. Yeah, yeah, say, remove your name. Your name is on the <laughs> Intervention. He receives and manages the complaints and conflicts of others have concerning you. Uh, Ma- Matthew 12, 2. But when the Pharisees saw the disciples eating with unwashed hands, they said to him, Behold, thy disciples do that which is not lawful to do upon the Sabbath day. Look at what Jesus spoke. Jesus said, Uh-huh. Leave them. He, he, he spoke for them. He, he defended them. Eh? He said, shall the bridegroom... Um, no. Um, no, no, that's not... Matthew 12, 
2. What's verse 3? Can somebody read it out? Eh? No, read Bible. But he said unto them, Have you not read what David did? When, when he was an on guard, that he went into the holy place and took the com common bread. That was Jesus' defense for his disciples. Are you getting what I'm saying? What a spiritual father. What a spiritual covering. I mean, imagine how Peter, James, and John will be feeling and say, You see, you see, you don't know what David did. <laughs> you know? I mean, they, they like going out with Jesus, man. And these guys will have knocked us plain down. But look at what Jesus spoke. He said, Yes, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Ah, master, master. Mm -hmm. And look at another thing commendation, intercession, interception, intervention, commendation. I commend unto you our sister Phoebe. I love that scripture. I commend unto you Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is a creature, that you receive her in the Lord, Romans 16, verse 1 and 2, that you receive her in the Lord as becometh saints, and that you assist her in whatsoever business she had need of you, for she had been a succor of many and of myself also. Man, who would not like to be said that about? Hmm? Said, I, I recommend to you, morning, our, our pastor. Give her anything she wants. Make sure you assist her with all the accommodation, feeding anything, because my God, Mori has done so much for the church in Abekuta that the churches in Abekuta wish we could hold her back, but we are sending her and recommending her to you. You can, you can wound yourself for her. She deserves it. My God, you carry such letters out of here and somebody can say that about you. That's a father. Kuma says some of the, even Fabian said, may be thinking, me? <laughs> I, I want you to, for a minute, think about Phoebe. Eh? Phoebe, I, I, I want you to think about Phoebe. Say, say Phoebe, ah, how would they look at that sister? People that have never met her before, they would, they, how would they, the first, first reception, I say, ah, are you Phoebe? My sister Phoebe? God bless you. Have you eaten? Have you like? Do you like gova? You like mango? You like purple? You like this? Eh? Our sister Bula. And then you enter a place, and then before you know it, people have packed your freezer with food stuff. They've given you a BQ. They give you a furnished apartment. Somebody says, for the time you are going to be here, we I just our family thought that you will need a car. Based on what Pastor Apostle Paul spoke about you, we felt that ah, a woman of God like you, they don't know you, but they gave you their car. They gave you their BQ. They said, you ah, uh, are you Phoebe? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. People are showering treatment on you without knowing anything about you directly aside from recommendation. My God. And they must find out that the recommendation is true. Do you know that's another scripture? What's that our scripture? That's, and uh, uh, this our brother that we normally like. Uh, and, and, the, and all the church's witness and our witness is true. Ah, what's his name? Um, Is his name that I'm looking for now. Paul was recommending. He said, and all the churches agreed that this person is, you know, and our witness is true. And our witness is true. <laughs> uh, we can get it. All right? Praise God. All right? Recommendation. Everybody say recommend. We will get it. We will get it. Demetrius. That's the person I'm looking for. That's a which scripture? Third John, Diometros. 
third John uh, third John one twelve one to go. Demetrius had good report of all men and of the truth itself. Yes, and we also bear record. It's not just recommendation. No. We also bear record. And you too know that our record is true. May they say that concerning you. Amen. That they said this, just put your name there. One, two, go. Shegu had good report of all men and of the truth itself. Yes, and we also bear record. And you know that our record is is true. Put your name there by faith and, and thought John 1 12. Praise God. Thank you Mark for giving us that a spiritual father benefits of being under a spiritual father labor and responsibility. Somebody to labor and bear responsibility over the Galatians 4 19 my little children of whom I travel in birth again until Christ be formed in you. Okay, let's move implications of being a spiritual father <laughs> implications you are standing at the threshold of being either great or least in the kingdom of heaven matthew 5 19 matthew 5 19 whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so because you are a teacher he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Number two, greater condemnation. James 3, 1. My brethren, be not many masters. You see, this is an advice for you to not be many, many fathers. The father of A, B, C, D, E, F, D, H, I, J, K. But my brethren, be not many masters. Knowing that what? Want to go? we shall receive the greater condemnation. James 3, 1. Can you pick it from another translation? What does it say? Message Bible. Knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. Go ahead. Don't be in any rush to become the spiritual father. Go on. My, my friend. Teaching is highly responsible work. Uh -huh. Teachers, are to the Teachers are held to the strictest standards. That's all. Praise God. Greater condemnation. Number three, the more you receive, the more the demand. Luke 12, 47. And that servant which knoweth his lost will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. More beaten. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whosoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask the more. Number four, you are going to give account of yourself and each sheep. Give account of yourself and each sheep. Romans 14, 12. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Hebrews 13, 17. Want to go? Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch over your souls as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable for you. In other words, why, why he says submit to them is because they are going to give account. Don't let them serve God over you with grief. So there are some people it's difficult to father them. Don't let them be crying to be your father. Don't let them be suffering be about fathering you. Don't let it be difficult to father you. Submit to them. Submit to them. Submit to them as they that must give account. They are going to give account. They are going to give account. Implications of being a spiritual father is that you will give account. Tap your neighbor and say you will give account of every sheep on yourself. Then there's a present. Then the, the next one is that uh, number five now also. There's a presentation day requirement. 
2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 2 For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy for I have espoused you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ 2 Corinthians 11 2 that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ so there's a presentation requirement there's a presentation standard there's a presentation day requirement then of course we have said this before blood requirement We have said that, Acts 20, 26, we've said that, wherefore I take you record to this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. You must be able to say that. And you know what Paul said before he could say that? Hmm. What he had done. All right. So the last part of this teaching, I may say I've just rushed it so that we can move and just look at this in the, we're going to have a feedback session and we'll look at that. Erroneous thought patterns that cheat disciples in their discipleship process or cheat sons. So I'm going to take a seat. So I will do this sitting. All right. Erroneous thought patterns that cheat disciples in their discipleship process under a disciple or a spiritual father. What are the thought patterns that normally cheat people? Number one. Uh, they say you can you can suggest too. He's not coming after me or having time for me as I expected. That's contrary thought to scriptures because I taught you that Paul was the one going. He was with them. The Bible did not say they were with him. When he when he gave his life to Christ, he was with them going in and coming out among them. He was the one that kept his proximity with them. He needed them. All right. He kept contact. Then sometimes say this this I will stop at this. This most erroneous pattern, thought pattern, and say, uh, I I I guess it's, I don't want to disturb him. He says, We are your servants for Christ's sake. In other words, God has appointed this this system for you. It's a provision for you under God. The person is appointed by God, not by you, not by himself. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like getting a lesson teacher for your son and your son says, I don't want to disturb you. I will say, stop what? Do you understand what I'm saying here? The reason is because he is appointed by God. So disturbing him is not, is not your business. All right? So he is, except he's not appointed by God. If he's appointed by God over your life, then, then you can't, it's not your own business to determine whether you disturb him or not. If there's a serious need, yeah, then, 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 then con- contact and use that channel. Otherwise, you now might make the, the, the problem bigger because you didn't reach out on time. And by the time you're now reaching out, it's going to now take the whole of his life. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Never ever consider that level to the point of the detriment of, of a need of God in your life. Now, you can present the matter. If the person does not respond, it's a different thing. At least you have done your part. And thank God for technology these days. Preferably use chat. Don't say, I, 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 w- I want to call. Then I'm going to teach you how to relate with a spiritual father or a disciple. Because many people just don't know. Don't go about trying to say, hello, sir. How are you? I mean, those, those are very, very silly things. How many hours are you? So see one? Is it a receptionist? I mean, I mean, it's how are you? Hello, how are you? And you know the problem is that people will say, I want to tell him something that is very painful to my heart, but I want him to respond first and then I'll start talking. Unfortunately for you, when he sees how are you, he tells himself, you don't have anything to say. What do you do? Good morning, sir. How are uh, Good morning, sir. How are you? Or whatever, whatever. Very short. If you, you don't have to put that. If you, it's very serious, you don't even put how are you. Don't put it because uh, they now say, How are you, sir? How are the children? How is Zunayo? How is this one? How is mommy? I hope she's doing well. How is, how is, how is, how is. There are people that have serious matters to discuss. You are saying, how, You are there, how are you people? And yet, yet, those people that have serious matters to discuss may not even have matters as serious as yours. Yes. But you are saying, You are the how are you company? How are you? How are you, how are you is not the way to talk to people that have serious business to do. 
I'm just telling I don't know why many people don't know it. Because sometimes you may not really realize it until you start getting there yourself. Where you have 5,000, I have close to 5,000 people on, on, on my contacts who I'm watching over. And then you are saying, everybody say, how are you, sir? I mean, that, that's a whole day's job. I, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And what, what other answer are you expecting? I am feeling bad. No, 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 no. How are you? I mean, those, those, courtesy, courtesy at his best is good morning, sir. Immediately you say that, go straight to the cocoa of the discussion. I am having a challenge with my husband. You can pause there. That person at least knows there is something serious to attend to here. Don't just greet and say, let me know when I, you are free. You are never free. I'm telling you, and many people have been cheated of spiritual help because of these little, little things. Hmm. So you, I want to talk to uh, somebody like, uh, or, is that, or, and don't, 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 don't use your chances badly. I will tell you, once you are on my chat, and you send me daily devotion. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Oh. No problem. But you know the problem. Any day you have something serious to say. I have registered your discussion. Your, even if your mother is dying. I have registered your charts, your charts lane as daily devotion. Once I see or read messages on your name. I just scroll. I, I, don't, I don't read it. Don't send daily devotion to a spiritual father. You want to teach him? No, 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 no. See, see. Don't, don't, don't do that. He's going. To, no, 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 I know. I, 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 daddy, I, I, I enjoy this, this regular devotion. I, I think you will like it too. No problem. He will not tell you, he will not like it, so I will not call him a devil. But anytime he sees your chat, as far as he as is concerned, he has labeled it daily devotion. Not only daily devotion, no. Some 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 people send things daily, daily. Maybe your broadcast, even things that you do, your broadcast. Say, I I want you to enjoy it too. That's why I'm sharing it with you. No problem. He will be enjoying it. You know these things. I don't have to teach you to, but I'm just telling you. He will be enjoying it. He will just you know. But the gist is that your chat is not, is not special. Whereas there are some people in his chat room that he knows that if he sees any message from them, it must be something serious. When I say don't waste your cards or don't play with your cards, don't discuss unnecessary, stupid, nonsensical things that, that will now register with your name. And I said this one doesn't have anything serious to say. At the same time, am I saying don't greet? No, you, because the, the scriptures told us, salute them. Eh? That's, we read this from the Bible. So salute, greet, ah, happy birthday, sir. Something, God bless you. Something, you can do that. But don't, don't do that when you have something serious to talk about. And say you want him to respond first. And say, I am fine. And then you will now say the rest. And don't wait for you to call. It's always better to give a synopsis or an abstract of what you want to talk about. It is that abstract that he will use to allocate preferred time for you based on the other abstracts. This one is more critical than this one. A counseling session can take one and a half hours on phone. You don't want to be using that anyhow. Hey, daddy, how are you? In fact, I just want, you know, then they, they say, what is it? And when you are talking on phone, please be registering time. What I do these days is that after fin I finish talking to you, I will I, I, I evaluate and let you know I've just used 50 minutes of my life to talk to you. That 50 minutes, I could have used it with my children. Sometimes one and a half hours. I, I, it's family time. I was counseling somebody yesterday night, or the, I said day before yesterday or yesterday night. I, I had to leave the family to go and sit down with this person because the person has been challenging me that she wants to pour her heart 
for the past two days. I, I looked at it that your own has reached 48 hours. Let me, let me, let me give it some time. And then somebody said, I, I, I did this this money. I did this this money. He, he, he did not attend to me. I said, we just, for some people, we just say sorry. Because they, they, they can, they don't understand. It is my son's dues to have my time. More than your own. After that, after that, more than any spiritual son or, 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 or whatever. It's my son's dues. His hold is number one. He said, I know the ministry first. Which ministry? That guy, that guy, it is my wife's prerogative to have my time. First and foremost. So anytime I'm going to share, I'm going to be sharing it with you, with them. Do you understand what I'm talking about now? So he can't be lousy. You can't be wasting time. Say, how are you? So how is mommy? You, you are on call. I say, how is mommy? I, what? I sometimes I say, what, 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 the, what, what concern you with mommy? <laughs> because sometimes you ask, 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 how is mommy? Because you are a lady and you don't want to look as if you are, you are, you are not. You say, well, forget that one. What is the matter? <laughs> so your mom, you say, maybe he's on speaker now. Huh? I, 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 I didn't ask about mommy too. Who is with mommy? What are you, if, what are we doing here? No mommy, the conversation. What are we doing here? Then you now ask finish for mommy. I say, I say, yeah, SOV. I say, something, something. Yes. Yeah, fine. Don't forget that that guy is going to do the same thing to several people like you. And you, that's five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes for useless things, 15 minutes. And, and then, so just imagine I open my phone in the morning. And for the first 40 minutes, I'm saying, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. They are fine. He's fine. She's fine. Okay. Thank God. Adube. Amen. Amen. Yes. Oh. Ha. Ah. Yeah. Two hours. So you, you find that men, men of God now, they, they don't give you that, that, that. Some people, you cannot call him. And it, you can only send SMS. Not WhatsApp. So that you will spend money. You cannot WhatsApp his SMS. There are people he gives that other access to. Very few. Because they know they won't use misuse. You with your SMS. And it's your SMS that will determine when whether you will call. And if you will call, they will give you time. And you can't call past that time. You cannot call past that time. Say, I was busy that time when I said, I should call now. Are you free now? You will send SMS again. You will find another time. Because they make you know that time is precious. One hour of somebody's life without tearing receipts. And there are some people that do therapy and, and, and they, they, they charge 40,000 per hour. Those ones, they don't mind if you, they, they say, I say, why? Well, they say, oh, she's fine. They say, oh, I say, they're fine. The, the, the clock is ticking. <laughs> they say, you want to ask about my brother? Uh, my grandmother? Hey, hey, my, we are from Ijebu. Oh, do, do you know anybody there? He said, hey, hey, how are the people? Ah, I have many things to tell you about them. He said, said, ah, one hour has gone. I said, yes. 40,000. How about the Shokoto people? <laughs> those, 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 those ones you can, you, can, you, can, you can waste their time. Because you are paid. Most people when they see therapists, they, they, they don't say, they don't say, how are you? They say, hey, my mother. Yes. <laughs> Because every second is counting. But when it is partial, hey, 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 this is your shirt. Don't do that. What is the matter? And ready, gradually they register you as a non serious person. So I don't call my spiritual father eh, eh, anyhow. I greet him. From, I try to maintain a contact by greeting, keeping in touch. But I relate with him such that if he sees my call, Something must tell him that Shegun doesn't just call anyhow. Ah, he will, you see, that's how you know the value. When he calls back, that's when you know your call is valuable. The answer was because he said, he said, he said, he said I, 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 I am actually in a meeting. It was because I saw your call. What happened? I said, okay, 
let me allow you to finish your meat. We'll talk later. It's all right, that's fine. Huh? How much available? But if I used to say, hey, I just said I should, I just saw the newspaper. I said, hey, what is going on? You die. Hey. They won't leave meeting for you. Erano's mindset. He loves Maureen more than me. He likes Maureen more than me. Anytime he's talking about Pastor Maureen, that's how he's might be smiling. And when it's my turn, it's always summer. It's his Pastor Maureen that is his special daughter. What's your business? That is Jesus' response. Grab what belongs to you and don't mind anybody else's business. Jesus told Peter, what is that to you? Jesus had specials. Forget matter. The Bible calls, and the disciple whom Jesus loved. What's the meaning of that? He did not love Thomas. He loved them, but he loved him. They didn't, aka the disciple whom Jesus loved. Everybody knows his name. Eh? Who was his name? John. John. And Bible, even on the cross, his Bible says he saw the disciple whom he loved. And he saw his mother and said, Mother, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. On cross. <laughs> eh? on, on cross. That's the scripture that shows us that, that, that the son was there. Because if you read it from, from the from behind side, you would think that all of them had run away totally when Peter was the only one that was watching from behind. But that scripture showed us that at the cross, son and mother were there. And, and, and John was there. And the Bible says from that day, he took her home. That's what made us know that something must have happened to Joseph. From that day, he took Mary to his own house. Thomas did not do that. Peter did not do that. They did not do it. Douglas or Bartholomew or all those other people. <laughs> they, 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 did, they did not do it. He said, what is that to you? That they, that they, they seem to be favorite. It's not your business. You just get what belongs to you. Forget positioning. Forget positioning. Get what belongs to you. Even the disciples, they sent John to Jesus to say, ask him. Which, 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 ask him. Well, but what's that to you? It, and, and yet, Jesus had a good, fantastic relationship with Peter. He may not have been the one he loved like that, but he didn't hate him. So, do, do, does he hate you? Don't bother about trying to be the one that is special. Mm-mm. Leave that matter. Just be your, your, get the dividend that belongs to you. Don't care about saying somebody's you know, special, he likes this person more than that person. He says, is, is he not human? Eh? Is he everybody that will lie on your breast? Eh? Should, should you just lie on your breast? <laughs> All the money in your chest pocket has gone. <laughs> He has his own issues. Let me attend to my own. He has his own issues. But God sent him to you. He needs to speak over your life. Alright? So, so many other things. Father, give you praise. Thank you, Father. Let's give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Can we thank God for the privilege of being taught of having access to these things in the name of Jesus. Let me add just this one thing. Please update gradually spiritual fathers. It's a sign that makes them know that they are fathers. I don't need to even tell you you are my father spiritually. I don't need to tell you I am accountable to you. One of the ways I can tell you without telling you is by updating. In fact, it's the greatest sign 
because anybody that updates a person is telling that person that you are you matter you matter in my decisions you matter in my progress it's not like i collide with you suddenly on the road i say ah also, uh, uh, I did marry last last year. <laughs> so, so we go back. Uh, oh, pastor, uh, it's been a while. So, uh, it, it doesn't mean you are a sinner. It only means I don't matter to you. As a guy I used to call the contact every day, how are you? How far? Sister has everything. There's a, suddenly, I discovered that he had gotten married. I caught him off. I don't have time to waste. Checking on somebody that doesn't see my 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 importance in checking or what? Yeah, like, ah, yeah, I really thank God for everything. I have people who need it. Why are you making me waste it on you when you don't need it? It is Facebook that I'm hearing that that uh, you have been ordained. It should not be. Update. Update. Somebody had uh, my uh, I, 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 I matter about my spiritual father. And my spiritual father was telling the person that said, "You should go something like that. Shego tells you everything. Tells you major updates. I don't say I'm, I'm not saying waking up this morning. I say uh, so I've woken up. <laughs> I, I'm sick. I had cookouts. Uh, my husband gave me pencil. My husband gave me Bible." Uh, something, something. Oh, after I said, I said, Madam, please don't <laughs> talk to me again. No, but I'm saying major updates. The first time you are traveling out of the country, first time. I should know. By the time you start traveling, it gets to a point where nobody, I, I mean, you say, it's, it's normal. It's as in, it's, I mean, don't, don't need to now start. You know. It's the first time you are doing something. You know, you are doing it something something some, you have a medical condition you have something something which the, a father should know somebody that is not posting prayers should not know that you have appendicitis appendicitis you should not know you are robbing yourself of that facility paraventure you can even speak a word and that will have been the solution to drugs of, of many years. Why are you cheating yourself of what is made available? Bible says the things that the Lord has provided are freely given to us. Updates. Updates. You may not be talking all the time. But once you talk, eh, let, let it show that there's something. Alright? There's something. There's an update. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that these words will settle in our spirit and our lives are changed forever. Can I pray in the Holy Ghost for just two minutes? A generation will see these things in our own lives. They will learn them from us. They will learn them from us. Another generation will learn these things from us. They will learn these things from us. They will learn these things from us. They will learn these things from us. Can I call Mrs. Coca to close this mission? Of course. So just pray, closing prayer. Zala barusta kavarosh, varavadekestevregedo shatava, jekato presta valadesh.